Welcome back to Mark Strong Edit. Today, we're going to take a look at how to use the content aware fill in Adobe After Effects. Let's check it out. All right, so I have my footage in the timeline and with our footage selected, we'll go ahead and choose our rectangle tool up at the top. And I'm just gonna create a rectangle around the object I'm going to be removing from the, from the scene. So in this case, the truck. And down in our, our mask settings, I'm gonna change this from add to subtract. And I'm gonna right click on the mask and hit track mask. And so over here on the right hand side, we have our tracker settings and I'm just gonna hit the track forward button and we'll give that some time as it goes through every frame to track the mask around the truck. All right, so now that our mask is done tracking, we can go ahead and choose the content aware fill option in the right hand uh, panel. We'll set the alpha expansion to 10. The fill method is gonna be object and the range will be the work area, so this is our entire work area. So I'll just have it from beginning to end, a little over 15 seconds. And I'm just gonna hit generate fill. And this is gonna create almost like an image sequence. So I'll just rename this. I'll just rename it fill layer. And I have this being saved in my project folder. So I'm just gonna hit save. And now it's analyzing the footage. So we're just gonna sit back, let this run its course. And once this is done, we should have something filling the space here where the truck once was. So I'll go ahead and let that run. All right, and now it looks like it's done analyzing and rendering. So if we hit play, We can see that we've officially removed the truck from our scene. We can kind of see some sharp lines here from the automatic removal. So to fix that, we're gonna move the footage above the fill layer, which is just the image sequence. Um, we'll choose the mask and hit F to bring up our feather. And I'm just gonna hit this to turn off the mask outline. I'm just gonna increase the feather amount, but not too much, because then it looks like you start to get a shadow. So we'll just slightly increase the feather, that way that line is less harsh. But that's about it. Wanted to keep it very simple with this video. You can follow these same steps though, with footage that contains more movement. Um, as long as you can track the mask, then it'll be able to keep up with it and, and use that content aware fill on a more complex scene. For the sake of this tutorial, just wanted to use something a little bit simple. But that about wraps up this tutorial, guys. Thanks for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section or if there's any other tutorials you want me to make in the future. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.